Hello, my name is Remo aka Tick Boy, and I welcome you all to the very first episode of Tick Boy Tries. Gets TT Tick Boy Tries. <laughs> On this video, I'm going to try to modify my mechanical keyboard. So that entails lubing the switches, lubing the stabilizers, and putting paddings on the stabilizers. Okie dokie, let's go. Whoosh! So you're all gonna need a keycap remover tool just like this one, a switch remover tool, of course switch lube, this one is called Crytox, a switch opener, dielectric grease, fluorinated grease, a fine tip paintbrush for easier application of the lube on the switches, a couple of band-aids, these I got from my work so please do not report me. These are optionals, a bag of chips, and taba mong hayup kay. <laughs> and a bottle of water. It is critical you stay hydrated, okay? Okie dokie. Step number one remove the keycaps and the switches from the keyboard. Jada! Step number two. Using the switch opener, open the switch. Janan. Step three, apply lube on the bottom housing of the switch, just like this. Janan. Step four, apply lube on the tip of the spring. Jaran. Step five, put the spring back in the housing. Jaran. Step six, apply lube on the other tip of the spring. Jaran. Seventh step. Seventh, seventh. Here apply pronounce neto, ngayon ko lang na Seventh, seventh. <laughs> anyway, this is what they call the stem. You apply lube on all sides, but do so sparingly, okay? Do not over lube. Over lubing will greatly, surely for sure, affect the feel of the switch. Especially if you're doing tactile switches like that, or like this. Basta yan, di ko ano demonstrative. Ano, konti lang yung paglagay ng lube. Okay, less is more, less lube, more room for adjustment. Okay, apply lube on the foot too like that like this or like so Janan <laughs> shut the f up Remo okay we're done with the switches now we open up the keyboard uh, in my case like that you separate the PCB from the housing apparently the PCB is that white part right there that's where the switches are attached yeah and I am a co-host we sit Okay, and then this is the housing. Yon yung black things na nakatash yun yung stabilizers. Those are the stabilizers, okay? This is the back part of the housing. And then the front part again. Ano ba flip ng flip ah? Gulumua. Okay, so these are the stabilizers. Yan, three parts siya yung dalawa sa dulo na black. And then the metal part or the metal rod in the middle. You. Pop it open and then you just pull out the rod like so. After disassembling the stabilizers, you pop this part out. Now, this step is a bit tricky. See those tiny feet that have those protruding tiny plastics there? Yon yung hinahawakan ko, yan, 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 yan. You are going to clip those, like cut those completely, okay? They're supposed to look like this. Jadan. Step nine at that. Okay. Apply fluorinated grease in the stabilizer house. <laughs> stabilizer housing. Just like that. Janan. Step ten. Submerge the metal rod in the dielectric grease. Actually the tip to the corner only. In the yumbo. Ganto, ganto. Papakita ko. Chill ka lang. Like this. Make sure you get a slightly copious amount, okay? Yan, ganyan na ganyan. Janan. 
stabilizer lubing done. Moving on to step 11, the padding or putting on the paddings for the stabilizers. Just get uh, your band-aids cut and stick it right there. Yeah, you can see it. I didn't record because I was tired. Lastly, cut small pieces like this and stick it on the PCB where the stabs will rest or hit. Okay? <laughs> Finally, we're done. Let's do some sound tests. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Y'all guys take it easy. Kapayapaan sa buong mundo. Hmm.